Hello everybody, it's Cedar Holic. It's Hope from Cedar Holic Gardens. Hi guys, how are you? I am showing you what CD Husband did next. And right now he's deadheading the geraniums that are in the edge of this bed because I had nowhere else to put them and I didn't sell them. I've got these. I got these seeds from Trinity from UT33200. Him and Angel sent me Black Beauty tomato seeds. And I've seen pictures of the tomato, but I didn't know. Look how black these stems are. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? But this is the trellis he's building me. He tried to tell me he was building me a, a fly, uh, a Y um, wing fly trellis, and I didn't know what he meant. But this is what he's done. He's gotten one by twos and some plastic trellising, and then you see the tomatoes are propped in between. And he'll put another board like set like that a foot and a half up and then at the top when they're really tall later in August if we ever get any real sun here in Chicago and I haven't posted it yet but at the bottom of this bed there is um soaker goes underneath this bed I'm getting up there so we can it with me but see it's a little damp here so But it's okay because it's going downhill from this bed, which has a gorgeous zinnia, as you see. A couple of tomatoes over here, but all my little teeny pepper plants will get lots of water and hopefully soon a lot of um, sun again because they need heat. That's why they're so small. They aren't getting enough heat here in Chicago. I didn't start them till February, um, April. I probably should have started them in February here. That's going to give you a wide angle view of what I was talking about with those tomatoes. And in between, put some lettuces underneath, some brassicas, and just some plants to make the beds look pretty. And then there's a bunch of squash in here, some more brassicas, some gorgeous red oak leaf uh, lettuce there, there, and there. A couple other types of lettuces. And my ubiquitous kale, because I have kale everywhere. Kale, 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 squash, squash, squash. Apparently is what I'm gonna eat for the rest of my life, my family and I. But this one, he did a little different. He put the soaker hoses on top here. And then we watered a little bit from the top to try and help the capillary action get the water down to the plant roots. And I'm gonna try and do this myself without killing anything. This is his hardware system for all you gearheads, mainly the guys and Paula, <laughs> and a couple other girls who are handy dandy girls. So I thought you guys might enjoy seeing that. So this is my tour. Um, this is Wednesday, June 19th. So I expect to post this probably sometime tomorrow. I'll probably post a couple so you can see the previous video of what this looked like before it was planted up. And that's about all I got for you guys today. I will turn around and give you just a general overview of what our community garden looks like here. Lots of people getting busy and lots of people not quite in the game yet. Anyways, that's the end of this tour. And as always, happy gardening. And most importantly, blessings of bounty and may your gardens always bring you guys joy. Love from Cedar Hall. Till next time. Goodbye.